here we are, YouTube. Finally, <sighs> your fellow fragrance enthusiast is back with a new video. I spent the last maybe five or six months with absolutely no new content going up on my YouTube channel. I apologize for that. For those of you who started following me during that time, I got a few new followers during that time period. You know, for me, this has never really been about a following, a large following or um, growing my channel per se. I mean, there are a lot of YouTubers, especially here in the fragrance community, that have this little spiel that they get into either in the very beginning toward the introduction of their fragrance or at the end where they say something that tell me if this sounds familiar to you like and subscribe don't forget to leave a comment you know i'm not about that really i have no issue with people who are always trying to grow their channel that's on them that's how they choose to roll in the area of social media but for me this has always been about sharing uh, my love of fragrances. I was talked into getting into being a YouTube reviewer by a fellow actual YouTube reviewer, uh, ShySense773. So again, shout out to Jerry. Um, his channel is constantly flowing with new videos, information on fragrances that I'm being introduced to almost every time he drops a video. He has an amazing collection. If you follow him on Instagram or here on YouTube, uh, you know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, again, his screen name is ShySense773. I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description so you all can check out that information as well. But here we are. What are we doing today? If you click the thumbnail, that's obviously going to be there by the time this video is put up. Uh, you know that we're doing a list. Um, I don't have many lists on my channel. I'm not the type of person that makes these videos very often, but I did have someone check out one of my older videos that's a list and inquire on when the next time I was going to make another one. So here we are. We're back. It's springish. I mean, the seasons are all types of jacked up right now, but we're sort of moving into that full summer, right? Where the weather is in that 60 getting closer to the 70 degree range. It was a short sleeve shirt day, button down. Had an absolutely wonderful time out today. Um, took a walk in the park. It was amazing, made a new friend. But back to fragrances. We're gonna have a list today of five fragrances from my collection that I think are perfect for this transitional period. Call it full summer, if you will. But five summertime fragrances, they're gonna be freshies. They're gonna be different from the typical freshy list that you might see with well, PDM Sedley, some Greenly. There are a lot of fragrance channels that have a lot of the same fragrances, but different people talking about the same things. I make it a point that when I try to go into my fragrance collecting, yeah, I've got some uh, popular head turners. I fell for the hype of Cedra Boise. That was my first niche fragrance purchase actually along with Tiziana Terenzi's Borea which is not a very popular fragrance but it is one that I picked up on from the advice of a YouTuber that basically influenced me into feeling like that would be a great place to start my niche fragrance journey <clears throat> excuse me that fragrance reviewer is actually super super huge popular she blew up like after the time period that I actually saw a fragrance list that she had, she blew up shortly after. That is a, a curly fragrance, right? So I'm, I'm sure that anyone that's watching this channel, you might be familiar with her content, but curly fragrance, shout out to her for getting me put on to the first perfume that I got from Tiziana Terenzi, and that's Borea. Um, a white floral fragrance that's lean, slightly gourmand, an amazing nutty almond white floral fragrance. So we're getting into the five fragrances from my personal collection that I think are great recommendations for anyone that is interested in smelling great this summer, smelling a bit different. But I'm also going to have two fragrances that I think are honorable mentions that while they're very hard to come by these days, these are fragrances that have either been discontinued or are no longer sold here in the United States. One of them, uh, the fragrance company pulled out of the United States, so there are very few places left to actually purchase 
uh, an Atelier Cologne here in the United States. And the other fragrance has been discontinued by Fendi. But there are also fragrances that I think are amazing. Sorry if I'm moving around a lot, but Logan is licking me. My, my co-star is not making squeaking noises today. He's just really getting on my nerves because he wants my attention. All right. He's about to start squeaking his toy. Fair warning. Um, so anyone that's confused about the squeaking that goes on in my videos, some of you that follow me over on Instagram, you know about my co-star Logan, my pet pit bull. He loves the attention. He thinks that when I'm talking to my phone, someone on the other end is also going to be trying to say hi and talking to him. So he chimes in from time to time. If you hear some squeaking, it's my co-star getting his uh, opinion in on a fragrance. <laughs> All right. We're going to start off with the two honorable mentions on this fragrance list. I don't do a whole bunch of heavy editing when it comes to my videos. I don't have an intro. I don't got an outro. I don't ask you to follow or subscribe. I just talk about these fragrances. So let's get into it. The first fragrance that we're going to talk about is an amazing aquatic marine blue style fragrance from the house of Fendi. It is discontinued. Extremely hard to find. I could only find 50 ml versions. If you luck out and find a 100 ml. I suggest getting it in that size, but the prices that they were starting to charge for the 100 mLs that I could find were a little exorbitant. So what I did was I got 250 mLs. I gave a bottle away to a friend over in California. Shout out to you, Scott. But Fonda Fendi Pour Ohm Aqua. Let's get that so the light isn't causing crazy glare. This is one of the best from the House of Fendi that I've smelled. A lot of you might be familiar with the yellow color juice, just the Fendi Pour Ohm straight up. But Fonda Fendi Pour Ohm Aqua is, like I said, it's salty, marine. It's got a lot of nuances that make it a special fragrance. It's different. It's spicy. It's got a dry down that is leans more masculine, but it is gentlemanly. It's good for a dressed a dress up scent it's a dress down scent it's a sporty fragrance it's all of these things at once you can you can fit this into a lot of different places in your fragrance catalog it's very versatile something that if you come across it i suggest you pick it up find Fendi pour home aqua first honorable mention the second honorable mention that we've got now that we've sent logan on a run is from a fragrance house that I mentioned pulled out their business completely out of the United States. They are in very few places right now. They have left traces of availability here. You can still find this in certain retail locations, but Atelier Cologne's web services, they don't, they no longer sell online here in the U.S. They do not ship to the U.S. So if you do find yourself interested in an Atelier fragrance like the one that I'm about to talk to you about, Vetiver Fatal, this has notes of plum. This is one of the best plum fragrances I've ever gotten my nose on, and I've got a few. <clears throat> this has plum, vetiver. It's a fragrance that is earthy, green, fresh, bright, doesn't last as long as you'd like, or as long as I'd like. This is not by any means a short-lived fragrance. It would last an entire day at the office. I would give it seven hours. Easy. Maybe it lasts eight, but this is a fragrance that you're not going to get 12 hours performance out of unless you're really checking for that deep skin scent and the dry down. All right. But another good honorable mention fragrance, <coughs> excuse me, Atelier Cologne's Vetiver Fatal. Now let's get into the list. This list is going to be one niche fragrance, two designer cheapies, um, a sort of cheap designer fragrance that it's a fragrance that you can get inexpensively, but it's not super cheap. And then there's an independent fragrance that I think is an amazing, amazing fragrance. That fragrance is a number one. It is currently my favorite fresh summertime fragrance. Stay tuned. You'll find out which one it is. We're going to start here with a fragrance that I'm recommending fifth. And this is in a specific order because this is an order of recommendation. A fragrance like the one that I'm about to talk to you about is not as universal as Fonda Fendi Pour Ohm Aqua. This is actually a very situational fragrance. The fragrance that I'm gonna talk to you about very briefly in this bright gold box is Mancera's Holidays. Now there, there are a lot of people 
that subscribe to me or that have come on my channel that are familiar with the Quality Fragrances channel. And I've mentioned him in a bunch of my videos before because he is one of the greatest fragrance knowledge sources that we've got out there right now. He has an amazing collection, lots of Mancera bottles. And the first place that I heard about this fragrance was from him. This is basically designer suntan lotion. All right. That's that's pretty much the scent that you get. And for those of you who are melanin plus, this fragrance is going to remind you of coconut, um, coconut oil hair sheen. All right. The coconut oil sheen that, you know, you spray in your hair doesn't matter the brand. It's got that familiar, familiar scent. That's I get a lot of that in the opening for this. The dry down is heavy, heavy sandalwood. All right. This fragrance is transitional. It's it's it goes from that suntan oil scent to something that's closer, more akin to that coconut hair sheen scent. And after it dries down, and this is a extremely long lasting fragrance, Mancera staple. This is easily a 13 hour fragrance on skin. If you don't take a shower in that in that amount of time, it probably gonna last you 18 hours. All right. This will stick around. And as it gets into that deep, deep dry down, I'm talking maybe eight hours later, nine, 10 hours later, this fragrance is a heavy sandalwood scent that I find very, very nice. But at the same time, sandalwood is a tricky beast for a lot of people. You may or may not enjoy that or enjoy the transitions that it makes, but this is a pool fragrance. This is a beach fragrance. This is a fragrance that as soon as you smell it, you're gonna think suntan lotion and shades. So at number five, the recommendation that's not so versatile, but still worth checking out, Mansara's Holidays. The next fragrance is a fragrance that I wish lasted much longer than it does, and that's why it's in the number four position. This is an extremely affordable fragrance that you can find for maybe the uh, sub $20 range on a good day uh, or with a good coupon code on FragranceNet. This is Drakkar Essence. Now, that might sound familiar to you because yes, this is from Guy La Roche Paris. This is the same fragrance house that put out Drakkar Noir. The Drakkar Flankers. This is a flanker of, the, of that fragrance family that features notes of mint, um, grapefruit. This is a super fresh fragrance. It's got lavender in the heart notes, some musk in the base. This is a fragrance that I wore recently. Perfect for the high heat, but it doesn't last as long as you'd like it to. This is more of a gym fragrance. This is something that's very, very situational as well. It can be applied heavily to clothing and maybe make it through the day for, you know, an office day of a seven, six, seven, eight hour work day. Maybe you'll get away with that, but I wouldn't count on it. This fragrance doesn't last as long as it should, but it is beautiful. It's like, it's very unisex. Actually, a lot of people think on Fragrantica that this is more masculine. I find it a highly unisex scent with, again, notes of mint, Lavender, it's a beautiful fragrance. Grapefruit, citrus, mint that you get uh, in the opening and the mint lasts all the way through to the dry down. The musky lavender dry down, a great fragrance and sort of a throwback. So if you haven't had much experience with any Drakkar flankers, I recommend starting here. And it's also very affordable. Nice gift idea, something to get your man smelling good for the summer. Look no further. Guy La Roche Paris, Drakkar Essence. The next fragrance is a super popular fragrance when it comes to designer cheapies. It's a fragrance from a clothing company started by a rapper. Very familiar to anyone in the fragrance community that's been around for any amount of time because this is highly talked up by the big reviewers, the small reviewers, the people in between, the people like me who just love fragrances. Sean John's 3 a.m. And, you know, a lot of people got that, you know, smaller 30, 50 ml bottle, whatever it is. I went all the way and got the big boy because this was like 20 bucks and it is one of the most beautiful fig fragrances you will ever get your nose on. This has a tonic. This is like a tonic water accord, um, which I thought was really sexy. This has fig. Uh, Notes, I believe, of also uh, gin. This this is a fragrance that has some beautiful notes. 
There will be a link to the Fragrantica down in the description if you want to check them out in detail. I didn't really get into all of that before I got into this, this video because I didn't want it to run too long. So, Sean John 3AM at number three. And this is a fragrance that could have easily been in the number one spot had I not personally liked the other two just a little bit more. The next fragrance, in at number two. Why is it number two? Because this is a very familiar fragrance house for a lot of people, a designer fragrance that you can still find out there in the wilds. And it holds a special place in my heart personally. If you saw my Father's Day video last year, then you know that I got this fragrance because Le Mal was a staple in my father's fragrance collection in the 90s when it released and when it was super popular. So that fragrance um, birthed this flanker. I decided to go with Lamal in the Navy because I was essentially in the Navy as the Marines is a department of the Navy if you weren't familiar with that. So I figured they don't have a specific Marine Corps flanker, but they have a few that are tied with the armed forces. There was another one that, that was like, you know, army related. I went with the good old Navy one and that's pretty much what's in here. It's an aquatic Marine fresh fragrance. It's got the mint and the vanilla from the OG Lamal, but everything else is either extracted or replaced. This has mint, vanilla, ambergris, uh, oh gosh, musk, and one other note that I'm brain farting on. And I knew I know the notes for this. I'm just not gonna get it right now, and I don't want to drag the video along too much. Again. The Fragrantica uh, links for all of these will be in the description and that will help you get leads on places to find them cheaply. Um, I can't, I wouldn't be able to tell you right now or be able to track down the information for when it is that I got these fragrances or what I paid for them. I It was sometime last year and I'm not even sure anymore. But I got this on a pretty good deal. I got it on Father's Day so there was a pretty good sale and I know that I got a great discount on it. You can find this out in the wild. A great Summertime Lamal scent if you love the Lamal DNA. The final fragrance in this video, and I know we're approaching 20 minutes and that's a long time. Didn't want the video to run this long, but I had some information to get out. And I'm pretty excited to be back on YouTube. But the final fragrance, along with my whining dog because I'm not giving him enough attention. The final fragrance in this list is from an independent perfume house that I have very, very strong ties to a lot of love for. Not financial ties as to where I've got some deal going on with them, but this fragrance is super special to me because while I was doing my fragrance collecting and I was building my personal collection, I found out about this fragrance house sometime around Black History Month of 2020. Um, and over the course of that year, I was, you know, getting myself geared up to invest heavily into black owned fragrance houses, which I definitely did. I have the entire black label collection from this fragrance house. And this is a fragrance in that black label collection. It doesn't have a Fragrantica, so I have a link to the place where I got it from the, uh, the fragrance house's website. But this is a very special fragrance to my heart because I have two bottles of it and this is very rare for me to have in my collection multiple bottles unless it's something that's discontinued or I got gifted a double but this fragrance from the house of Kirk Elliott is ginger in the woods all right and ginger in the woods is a beautiful ginger scent it's ginger forward but it has an amazing list of notes that I'm gonna have to leave again a link in the description to describe the notes to you because I'm having a brain fart on them and I don't want to drag the video out going uh, 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 trying to remember these notes. But this is essentially what you're getting in the package, Ginger in the Woods. Why do I have two bottles, you ask? A heartwarming story that I'm going to keep very short. The perfumer for this house follows me on Instagram and he checks out the fragrances that I wear from time to time. He checks out my videos and that means a lot, especially since he's an independent perfumer and he probably got better things to do. The owner of this brand, the perfumer, the sole uh, <laughs> entrepreneur for this brand, self-taught perfumer, or he doesn't necessarily call himself a perfumer. He says he just knows it smells good. Elliot Kirk Jones. That is a living saint. This man saw in a video that I was really low 
on my favorite fragrance from his fragrance brand. Um, he sent me a replacement because I couldn't afford to jump in and get one for myself. I thought that that was top tier. That's something that I'm planning on when he goes back in and releases his new collection. You know, I'm going to cop it. I've got a hat that I usually wear in my videos that I decided, you know, give it a rest for this video. I'll get it back in on in the next one. And it, this was a longer video. So I decided to keep it slick. I also groomed today. So <laughs> I decided let's not let's not, you know, cover that black beauty with a hat. Let's uh, let's show off the baldy. We're bald and proud over here. But I thought that that was a one service. A1, that, that's an A1 human being. That's someone who I would never hesitate to reinvest in products from this brand. I know that the next fragrance from his uh, Seasons collection that I want to get into my collection because I've got an entire travel set or the Discovery set for the Seasons collection, I'm definitely going to get me a bottle of Quintessential, a full bottle of Quintessential, but I'm also super super interested in the the upcoming collection that he's got based on a true story can't wait can't wait this again is ginger in the woods by kirk elliott an amazing summertime fragrance i mean oh man out the nozzle right now you can tell you can tell that it's something that i have a lot of love for because this bottle's pretty empty and the only reason that this is full is because i've been saving this to hit the office for this high heat. This is something that I wouldn't recommend during colder weather, even though it's probably it's probably going to be nice in any temperature controlled environment, such as an office. So if it's cold outside and you're wearing it to work, you probably smell good in the office. But would this fragrance would this fragrance be one that I would wear out in the cold? Not especially. This is definitely a summer appropriate fragrance and one of my absolute favorite within my collection. Number one right now for the season, Ginger and Woods by Kirk Elliott Fragrances. Or the Kirk Elliott Experience, as he likes to call it. And that's my list. Five fragrances, two honorable mentions. I will leave you with that information to do with what you will. Hopefully you got some information on fragrances that you haven't heard before, 3 a.m. being the exception, because I know that everybody talks about 3 a.m. eventually. Thank you for checking out this video. If you did, I'm not going to ask you to do anything, but maybe check me out in the next video. Peace.